Well, hello. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, CASA Wi-Fi Multicolor LED Bulb Model KL125. I have installed these smart bulbs in our home and in this video we'll provide you with our experience with installation, setup, as well as the pros and cons of this LED Multicolor light bulb. So stick around. The CASA Multicolor Smart Bulbs can be purchased as a single, two-pack, or four-pack. We have included links to these in our description below. For this video, we will use the two-pack and we'll be installing these in our home office. Our office light fixture takes two bulbs, so we will be setting these two bulbs as a group so we can control them as a single light. The first step is to install the CASA app onto your smartphone or tablet. Go to your app store and search for CASA and install this app. Once installed, select Open. You may be prompted to allow notifications. I would recommend that you allow to get the full benefits of the app. When the welcome screen appears, select Create Account or Sign In if you already have an account. In our case, we already have an account, so we will sign in. Next, read and accept the privacy policy, then continue. Depending on your situation, you may get some informational screens. For now, just step through them to reach the main screen. At this point, we can add a new device, which in our case will be the CASA Multicolor Smart Bulb. Select the plus sign at the top or the Add Device button. From the list, select the Smart Lights option. Select the Smart Bulb KL100 series or your series if you're using a different bulb. We now need to install your bulb in a light fixture. This doesn't need to be the final location for the bulb. You could use a lamp during setup and then move the bulb to its final location once setup is complete. Make sure the power is off at this time. Select Next, then turn on your smart bulb. It should flash three times to indicate that it has entered setup mode. If you get a screen asking for location permissions, just select Allow. I would allow only when using the app. The app will now start searching for the smart bulb on your network. Remember, these smart bulbs will only work on 2.4 GHz. It should locate your new smart bulb and ask if it's OK to connect to its temporary network. The network name should start with something like TP-Link. On a side note, I would like to explain what is actually happening at this stage. When a smart bulb is in the setup mode, it emits its own 2.4 GHz hotspot or access point. This is separate from your Wi-Fi router's 2.4 GHz network. The CASA app already knows how to connect to these temporary networks and can now communicate to your smart bulb. Select Connect to establish a temporary 2.4 GHz connection to the smart bulb. It should connect and put the smart bulb into setup mode. During this process, the app will ask you which permanent network you want this smart bulb to connect to during normal operation. This is where you would select your 2.4 GHz home network and provide the appropriate credentials. The app will then provide your network name and credentials to the smart bulb using the temporary connection you have already established. This will allow the smart bulb to connect to your permanent Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz network. From this point on, your smart bulb will automatically connect to your network when it is powered on. You will then be asked to confirm that you are already connected to your Wi-Fi and will give you the option of going to your phone's Wi-Fi settings to ensure your phone or tablet is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as a smart bulb. In our case, we were connected to the correct network, but on the 5 GHz band, not the 2.4 GHz. While this would work fine, we decided to change the 2.4 GHz network instead. At this point, your smart bulb should now be communicating using your home 2.4 GHz network and not the temporary 2.4 GHz network it had provided previously. Okay, so now that the bulb is connected over your Wi-Fi, we can start setting some options. First, you need to provide a name. We'll name ours Office 1. 
We added the number one because we will be installing two bulbs in the same ceiling fixture in our office and each smart bulb should have its own unique name. We will group the two bulbs later using groups. Next, we provide an icon for the new bulb. Use whatever you find appropriate here. Select Save to move on. Enter a location. Again, we used Office here, but select any common name or enter your own custom name, then select Next. That's it. You should now have the congratulations screen showing. Select Sounds Good to Go. And your new bulb will now be displayed in a list of available devices. We will repeat the above steps to add a second smart bulb named Office 2. If you have more than one bulb, then repeat the above to add your smart bulbs. You can turn your smart bulb on and off from the list by selecting the power button here. You can also open the device by selecting it in the list. Your smart bulb main screen will then be displayed. If you get some informational or health screens, when you open for the first time, just step through them and then select Exit. The main device screen gives you access to all of the available features. Along the top you have some preset buttons that when selected will turn your smart bulb to the color shown. You can also define these presets to show your custom colors by selecting the edit icon. The A button will turn on the auto mode. The smart light will then automatically set the color temperature to match the natural light patterns from dawn to dusk. Warmer at night, more yellow, and cooler during the day, more white. The large power button in the center can turn your light on or off. Selecting the brightness tab will display a dimmer where you can set the brightness anywhere from 1 to 100%. The white tab displays a slider that will allow you to set the color temperature anywhere between 2500 yellow light to 6500 white light. The color tab will let you pick a color from over a million possibilities. Along with the bottom of your screen, you have three buttons. The first will allow you to set up presets that are then activated when you press one of the preset buttons, or can also be assigned to schedules. You can edit the color as well as the brightness. You can also schedule your light to turn on and off based on the time of day. To set up a schedule, select the schedule button here. A screen showing your defined schedules will be displayed. Since this is our first schedule, there are none showing. Select the plus sign to add a new schedule. In our example, we will set a schedule to turn the light red at sunrise Monday to Friday. We'll also have the light fade in over 5 seconds. When done, select Save and your new schedule will be displayed in the list of your available schedules. Your light will now turn on to a color red Monday through Friday at sunrise. The last button is called Usage. Selecting this will display your energy usage for the given bulb. It provides the energy used in kilowatt hour and also shows you how long the bulb was on today. You can also see the comparison between a regular 60 watt incandescent bulb and your smart LED bulb and how much predicted savings you will see over a given year. The settings icon will let you change some options as well as display information about your smart bulb. If you want to change the name or icon, select this option. The On from App option lets you define how your bulb will react when turned on from the app. We have set it to the last state, so it remembers what state it was in when last turned on and sets it to that. For example, if the last state was the color blue at 50% dim level, then that is what the bulb will do when turned on. You can also set it so that it turns on to a preset or in the auto mode. 
Typically, when using smart bulbs, you would turn on the light switch for the light fixture and leave it on. Then control your light using the app or voice commands. If you prefer to use the home light switch to turn on and off, then this option lets you define how the LED bulb reacts when the power source or light switch is turned on. The last setting to cover is the device info screen. This provides useful information about your smart bulb, such as time zone, Wi-Fi network, and much more. Okay, so the last item we need to cover are groups. With groups, you can combine or group devices together, which allows you to control them as one. For example, you could group all of your lights in the kitchen and turn them all on or off with one command. To add a group, press the back arrow to return to your device list. From the device list screen, select the plus button, then select group from the available options. Enter a name and location. Then select the devices you want to be part of your new group. Select save and your new group should now be displayed at the top of your device list. Selecting on or off will now control all devices in the group. Those of you that would like to take this a step further and link the CASA app and devices to Alexa so you can control your devices by voice command can check out our video linking CASA to Alexa. The link is in the description below. Well, that completes this video. If you found it useful, we would really appreciate if you give us a like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any comments or questions, please be sure to leave them below. Have a great day. Ciao.